Yo, what's up? Moki here. I was invited to playtest Valkyrie early and here are my thoughts from the perspective of a movement connoisseur. Before we get into that, I quickly wanted to say thank you so, so much for 100,000 subscribers. The support on the channel right now is insane and I am super grateful for it. The promised face reveal and other 100k specials are coming. You know the drill. Subscribe if you don't want to miss those. Alright, let's get into Valkyrie. She will be very fun to use. The main reason for that is her passive. I described it on Twitter as a mix of flying, a double jump and a slow dash all in one. Let me explain. If you hit jump while being in the air, you will start flying. That flight starts with a sharp initial acceleration and then goes at a constant speed. Something like sprint speed. So the flight itself is not super fast. If you hit jump again, you will stop flying. You don't have to hold jump to fly. As long as you are flying, you will continuously rise. You cannot fly just horizontally. You will fly as long as you have fuel. Once that runs out, it will slowly replenish after a small cooldown timer. If you strictly fly upwards without any movement input, you can fly a good bit higher than Horizon's lift gets you. When I tested this, I was able to start here and fly onto the top of these bones. As I said, you cannot fly horizontally, but you can cancel and reinitiate her passive rapidly back to back. If you time this correctly, this lets you bounce forward at a constant height. It feels a bit like bunny hopping mid-air. You can also do this in all directions and change directions mid-air. But reinitiating her passive costs some extra fuel each time. It was 5 to 6 hops when I tested it before it ran out. You can initiate the flight into all directions. This together with the initial acceleration is what reminds me of dashing. But it's nowhere near as strong as a tracer or jet dash. The rapid spam and cancel of her ability is what makes me think of double jumping. In that regard we now basically have a Titanfall 2 double jump in Apex. Not quite, but in most regular situations it's close. The biggest difference is that you do not keep your previous momentum. As soon as you hit a Valkyrie double jump, you will get sped up or slowed down to the same speed every time. So if you go on an octane jump pad for example, you can use the double jump off the pad first and then your Valkyrie double jump. But you will have to decide whether you want the direction change of that or rather not use Valkyrie's passive and keep carrying the jump pad speed into a slide for example. That's one of the things where the skill gap of her comes from. So using her passive as a double jump or mid-air bunny hop will be most useful to get over obstacles while you are normally running around the map, scale a building faster or outplay an enemy that doesn't have line of sight on you. Which brings us to another point. Her passive is quite powerful and offers great opportunities to do skilled movement plays. A maneuver I really like to do for example was momentum shifting around a corner into a backwards passive boost. But it seems balanced. You cannot use your weapons or heal while using it. And as I said, you are not ultra fast. So if you just hover upwards in front of an enemy, you will get lasered out of the sky. I sometimes much rather would have had a grapple or horizon lift when mid fight. Skilled players will find ways to use her passive around enemies, but it seems more of a traversal tool than an oh shit button. Some other things. You will have to relearn a bit how to use jump with her. If you're not very precise with your bunny hops, you will accidentally hover quite often. Wall bouncing with her is possible, but only if you are precise. Using scroll wheel jump with her is basically a no-go. Unless you are flying, there it makes the mid-air bunny hop a bit easier, or her fuel has run out. I mentioned that there is a small cooldown before her fuel starts recharging. 
During that time, you can jump around with her as you like, cause her passive is disabled. So if you are a movement pro and you scroll wheel jump all the time, you will have to mentally switch between normal legend movement and Valkyrie passive movement, depending on if you have fuel or not. That's why I suggested to the developers to have a small indicator that shows you how long you still have till your fuel starts refilling which makes it easier to avoid accidental passive activations. Let's get into her other abilities. Her tactical is a rocket salvo. You can use her rockets while you are hovering in her passive. You point them to where you want to shoot, indicators will show the field where they will land and then you shoot them. The firing is not instant and is more of a small 1 to 2 second barrage. But as soon as you have fired them, you can turn around and run into the other direction and the rockets will keep firing out of your rocket pods. So a maneuver I adapted was activate her passive, fire the rockets, cancel her passive and do another passive jump into the other direction. This only exposes you to danger for a short amount of time, but you are still a bit above the battlefield when firing her rockets. I'm not sure how high their damage is. It feels like they are a bit stronger than Fuse's tactical, but they are mostly a tool to do initial or finishing damage and mainly disorient. Her ultimate is basically a mobile redeploy balloon. You activate it and start hovering above the ground. There your teammates can join and you can still cancel it. Then you start the rockets and shoot up into the sky and redeploy from there. So the process is not instant and you can get shot while you're still hovering there defenselessly. But as soon as you lift off, you're basically gone. Pretty straightforward. She has two more passives. Since she's a recon class, she will be able to scan beacons. And while redeploying, enemies around you get marked with a red crosshair that's also visible to your teammates. Be it the deploy of the initial ship drop, from a redeploy balloon or during her ultimate. So with a Valkyrie in your squad, over are the days of thinking you dropped alone with another squad suddenly surprising you. Since I had early access, here are some other thoughts and details I have for Season 9. Arenas feel very polished and like they always have been a part of Apex. Some people seem worried about the buy system and losing your weapons in between rounds, but from my experience you are not too restricted in your loadouts. Yes, in the first round it's a bit like that, but when I played I pretty much got the weapons and abilities I wanted every round. Especially since your armor and helmet automatically upgrade each round. So everyone starts on white and simultaneously upgrades to blue and purple. I might only play arenas for the foreseeable future, cause I'm not that big of a fan of battle royale. I still hope we will get Team Deathmatch sooner or later, but for now, arenas will be dope. The Bow Chick Bow. The bow is super fun. And my Crisis 3 Bow Fakery was not that much off. Cause you can also hip fire and fast fire the bow in Apex. The damage scales with your fire rate. It uses special arrow ammo and you can pick up shot arrows from the ground back into your inventory. You can put assault rifle scopes on it, so everything up to a 2 to 4 times scope. The 3 times was my favorite. The two hop ups for it are fun and bring more variety to it, I just don't understand why their function would not be built in. You already have to look for a special ammo type. Why does respawn need to make it extra burdensome to run the bow? I did not have enough playtime with it to tell you if it's meta, over or underpowered. That will have to show itself over the 1-2 to two weeks after launch. But I do not think it even needs to be meta. Because I will play a bow because it's a freaking bow. But it would of course be nice if it's actually viable. Let me know in the comments what you still want to know about Season 9 and especially Valkyrie and I will try to answer it. I hope you enjoyed these initial Valkyrie movement thoughts and I will see you in the next video. Bye!